there's something very organic about the pipe organ. You have to remember it was the computer of the Middle Ages. I mean, so complex that with a centralized keyboard and stop system, one person could control such a wide variety, not only of pitches, but also of colors, of timbres. I heard that the organ professor at ASU was retiring, and he'd been in touch with me and really wanted me to to think about this as a possible place for my work uh, with the wonderful facilities, the Fritz organ, which is just a treasure for the performance of Baroque music. It really was a very good setting for me. I teach in two main areas, organ performance, which is a private lesson every week with each of my students. I have um, only graduate students at the moment because I'm also working as director of the school. In 2005, I was awarded a sabbatical to do work on the Italian organ. And so it was an opportunity for me to go to Pistoia. This is a small town about 30 miles from Florence where there are many historical instruments. The Trieri organ is a real Baroque organ. It was built in 1742. This instrument survived until the Second World War when the church had um, some damage from bombing. The organ wasn't hurt, but it was open to the elements, and so it was removed from the church at that time. The exact history is a little bit unclear, but we think it stayed in Italy uh, probably for several decades and then was exported to Austria and an Austrian-American organ builder, Martin Pazzi, acquired the instrument and he immediately contacted me and said, Kimberly, I have this 18th century Italian organ and I want to restore it. So I was very, very excited at the prospect of perhaps acquiring this instrument for the university. And Martin restored it. Only one pipe had to be replaced. It has 300 pipes and then uh, it is now on loan to the university. I think our school provides a very important type of community engagement because we present over 700 concerts a year in the School of Music. Most of them are free to the public and really offering such a wide variety of music that it, it's wonderful to have this interconnection with our public and we're so grateful to the university for supporting us in these endeavors.